to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa, and today I am going to show you how to make a decadent breakfast. We are making chocolate pancakes with a raspberry syrup. I am actually partnering with my friends at Bob's Red Mill in today's recipe video, and we are using their paleo pancake mix. I absolutely adore this pancake mix. It is grain-free, it's paleo-friendly, and it only uses a few extra ingredients, and it is so delicious. So I actually have veganized these pancakes by using aquafaba. That is a great egg replacement and it's actually the liquid from a chickpea can. So I am showing you how to make them vegan, but I will say if you do eat eggs or you are okay eating eggs, I do prefer this recipe with eggs. It makes a nice and fluffy pancake. The ones that are vegan are a little bit thinner, but I promise they are still delicious. Like I mentioned, this recipe is incredibly delicious and decadent. They are chocolate pancakes with a dark chocolatey flavor. We're also drizzling them with a delicious homemade raspberry syrup. And I think that they make a perfect Valentine's Day brunch or really just any breakfast. You can also freeze these pancakes and make them for later. They are just so awesome. You guys are gonna love them. So let's go ahead and dive in. Our first step is to make the raspberry syrup. We're gonna add a bag of frozen raspberries into a small saucepan, along with some maple syrup and some vanilla extract. And we are basically just going to simmer this on low heat for about 10 to 15 minutes until it's pretty liquidy and the raspberries have pretty much dissolved and have broken down completely. From there, we'll just pour this mixture into a strainer that's over a mixing bowl or a glass container like this. And you're gonna use a spatula or wooden spoon to just kind of push all of the juice through the mesh strainer until you have basically just a jam type consistency left. From there, we'll add in another quarter cup of maple syrup and then just whisk this all together and that is your syrup. You can set this aside and put it in the fridge while you make up your pancakes and this keeps in the fridge for at least two weeks. Our next step is to make the pancakes. So we're going to start with the base of the grain-free paleo pancake and waffle mix from Bob's Red Mill. And one of the things that I absolutely adore about Bob's Red Mill is that they provide super high quality ingredients for all sorts of diet types. So this is paleo, but also vegan friendly, gluten free. They're also using non-GMO and certified kosher ingredients. So they provide so much quality and they have a huge range of products that helps make healthy living accessible for people across the world. So the ingredients we're gonna be using is the pancake mix, we're also adding in some aquafaba, the cacao powder, some olive oil, some water, as well as some baking powder. And we're going to start by adding a cup of the pancake mix into a bowl. And then I found that it's best to use your hands to get all of those lumps out. So just kind of use your hands to break down the lumps. And then you can add in your cacao powder and then whisk this together. And we're gonna set this aside while we deal with the aquafaba. So for this, we are going to add the baking powder into the aquafaba and then whisk it all together. And this is gonna get nice and frothy and foamy and that's what's gonna help give these pancakes a little bit of lift. So once you've got that, you can come back over to your dry ingredients and you're gonna add in the oil as well as the water and the aquafaba and just stir this all together until a batter forms. It's gonna be pretty wet, but that is what you want and it will thicken up as it sits a little bit. But this is the texture that you're looking for. And then it's time to cook the pancakes. So we're gonna heat a griddle or nonstick pan over medium heat and spray it with some cooking spray. And then you're gonna scoop about two to three tablespoons, I like this little cookie scoop, onto the pan. And then I find it's best to use that scoop to kind of spread out the batter so that it cooks more evenly and it's a bit thinner. That will just make sure that the vegan pancakes cook all the way through. And then you're gonna cook these for about two to three minutes until bubbles start to form and then you can flip them over and again cook them for another two to three minutes until they are cooked through. And then just repeat until all of your batter has been used up and then it's time to serve these babies. So I like to serve a giant stack for myself. I like to top them with some chocolate chips. You could also do some raspberries or you could do some chocolate shavings, whatever you want. And then of course a generous drizzle of this raspberry syrup. And guys, this combo is so awesome. You are going to absolutely love it. Like I mentioned, the entire recipe is in the description box below, so make sure to check that out. And the chocolate with the raspberry is Oh my gosh, heavenly. I can't wait for you guys to try it. 
And there you have it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe video. As always, I would love to see a photo if you do end up making them. You can tag me on Instagram using at Simply Quinoa or use the hashtag Simply Quinoa. I also want to thank our friends at Bob's Red Mill for joining us. Of course, they are amazing. You guys know how much I adore their entire product line. They're also just an amazing company to work with. And I, of course, recommend that you try this recipe with the Paleo Pancake Mix. But if you can't find this Paleo Pancake Mix, that's totally okay because Bob's Red Milk makes a ton of flours. So I will actually give you the instructions below for making these from scratch using my quinoa pancake mix. And it uses a ton of the Bob's Red Mill products so you can find everything on their website. As always, of course, everything is linked for you in the description box below. Not only the link to this pancake mix, but the link to the Bob's Red Mill website. Also the recipe ingredients and everything is below for you. So make sure to check out that description box. I would also love for you to come join our community here on YouTube if you haven't subscribe to the channel already there's a red button right below this video it says subscribe you can tap that button and it will automatically subscribe you other than that I would love for you to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it share it with any of your friends that you think might like it and I will see you on Friday in our next video bye guys Bye.